Here you go. And we are back. Second half, nice catch. Pass complete. Here, take this. I'm gonna get this. It's my clip. Brady Dalton's pass complete for a third. For about Brady Chandler on the path to the big screen of four. Third down and five, Sean Wheel. Here you go. Brady Dalton steps back, rolls, throws. Throws to the left and it's a perfect pass, but the wide receiver just can't hang on. Fourth down. Will they go for it? Or will they not? It appears they're going to go for it. Going for it, folks. About fourth and five. Brady steps back, looks right, and he pulls it, rolls to the right. Stiff arms a guy, and he throws it across his body, but it's going to be an incomplete pass and turnover on downs. Oak Hill Oaks take over. Caleb Johnson gives those fullback. Ramsey Sykes with the pancake. Here we go, the Oaks have the ball just across the midfield. Caleb Johnson lines up under center. Give us the fullback and he's gonna take it to the outside of the left but brought down by a swarm. <coughs> Things are getting testy out here. We got a man down and it's Brady Dalton. Brady Dalton's shaking up, but it seems to be all right. <clears throat> And Brady will come out of the game for a few plays. There was no... I should have checked. <clears throat> Oak Hill Oaks taking over just across the 50 yard line here. Caleb Johnson under center. And it gives it to the wing back and he's got room and he takes it around the right side. Oh, looked like a horse collar and this one is gonna be advancing forward due to the penalty. That's a horse collar folks, you gotta tackle better than that. Head 
Had he not had that tackle, folks, I believe number 11 would have waltzed right into the end zone. <laughs> hey, he would have really walked in the end zone had he not done that. I know it's an illegal play, but like, that's such a hard play. Dude. When you're go? going at 100 miles per hour, you just grab onto anything, but rules are rules, folks, and the Oak Hill Oaks are in, are in threatening position. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, Oak Hill Oaks threatening. Let's see if Caleb Johnson and the Oaks can get it in the end zone. And the give is to the fullback, and he is spun out, and he breaks a tackle, and he's going to be in for the touchdown. And Oak Hill touchdown. The turnover on downs, the failed possession leads in the points for the Oak Hill Oaks. And the score now is 20 to 6. Oaks lead it. <laughs> he spun off a tackle, folks, and he ran for days. It was about a 35, 40 yard touchdown. And the Oaks line up to kick it. Big old 64. Ramsey Sykes, a whole lot of man kicking this extra point, and he is 3 for 3 for extra points. <laughs> That's a whole lot of man kicking that extra point there. And the Oak Hill Oaks lead this 21 to 6. Brady Douthe went down with an injury. We don't know if we'll be able to see him back here, but we will be seeing very soon to see if he comes into the game. His team desperately needs him, and this could be the difference between winning and losing right here. If there's any chance of them coming back, Brady Douthe has to be present. <clears throat> I think Brady, is Brady out there? Yeah, Brady's back. Good news, Brady is back. And he's taking it just across the 25 yard line. Oh, about the 35 yard line here. Brady Doubt that will take over on downs here. And here we go, Brady Douthat returns after what looked like to be shaken up on the last series as he lines back up in shotgun here. And Douthat gives it to his running back and he barrels ahead for about a gain of five. And it'll be about second and five. I make that mistake at about second and, yeah, second and five, folks. Well, my mistake, folks, second and six. And Brady Douthat will line up in the shotgun here, running back to offset on the left. And Douthat will take it off to the left, and he will run over a man and get a good game. Holy sh <laughs> I was just attacked by a bug. And Brady Douthat appears to be down. He appears to be down. He appears to be in a lot of pain. Douthat's down again. He gets up gingerly, but... No. And Brady trucked the guy, but he paid for it in the end as he's walking off gingerly here. This may be the last of what we see of Brady Dow here in this game here. I don't think so. But he is tough, just folks. Keep coming back, running people over. He's tough. Played a heck of a game so far. <clears throat> wow. 
on both sides of the ball and play hard sometimes. Stuff happens. That is the game of football. When you play both sides of the ball. Like playing defensive end as a quarterback. Yeah, no. That's a no. That's a no. Um, and uh, we turn over to uh, Sykes now. And it's a botch snap. I don't know. And Oak Hill will. will Brady going back. Folks, there goes. I said he was tough. Murph said he was tough. Brady doubt that returns back to the game. Yeah, you said that was the last we were going to see of him, actually. I was wrong, folks. I thought that would be the last we. Well, it might. Well, it's fourth down, so yeah, that that was the last of that drive. So. Dang. Um. <laughs> and Oak Hill. Assuming the snap goes okay, but a lot can happen. Takes a snap, and we got the flag. Flag delay of game. And the snap's underway. He punts it almost blocked by Oak Hill. And this one will be down at around the 26 yard line. Caleb Johnson and the Oaks will take over at the 26 yard line. It is 622 remaining here in the third quarter. 21 to 6. Oak Hill leads it. Yeah. Oak Hill in a comfortable lead here so far. We'll see if they lead, go back to their ground and pound has been very impressive. And Caleb Johnson, give it to the fullback and he takes it to the right side and he's barreling down, he's got an open lane, he's got 15 on the carry. <laughs> Tackle by none other than Brady Douthat. Told you that wasn't the last we'd see of Brady Douthat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's one tough kid. I won't be surprised. He gets him close back in his game and he'll just come back. Because he's tough. He is tough. Oak Hill's playing one heck of a game in there. Oak Hill's on. Their run game, though, they strong. Caleb Johnson on the side. I really like Ramsey Sykes at, uh, at, right, at guard, at left guard. Gives it to 11. Ooh, and he's brought down by a swarm. Sykes just put him in the end. Ramsey Sykes. He just stays put him in the end. Appreciate you all. I'm going to watch him. I'm going to watch him. I'm going to watch him. Second down. We had a great spot, spot up there, though. I know. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of good spots, yeah. and there's nothing over there. There's nobody over there. <clears throat> we'll give it this drive, and then... I can kind of give a, com a better commentary from that angle. Caleb Johnson, my under center. And the snap gives it to... Uh, no, nope. Caleb Johnson ball. takes it, takes it to the right side, and he is brought down for about a gain of five. And scout try, we are on the move. About 525 remaining here in the third quarter here. <laughs> Folks, I will say Ramsey Sykes 
at guard. Looks very impressive. He's able to open up lanes and just move pancakes people, really. Caleb Johnson under the center. And that's going to be an offside. Brady. Not Brady, sorry. Make their. I correct myself. Caleb Johnson able to draw the defense offside. And we got about a third and three to go. <clears throat> and they give us the full running back up the, le up the left side. And he gets a gain about what should be a first down. Oh, we have a fight here. A fight breaks out. Got multiple flags on the play about a personal foul here. Seemed to be a, a scuffle, but uh, we're gonna make our way to the other side. These nine million, nine million yellow flags that just came out. Seemed to be about a personal foul, but uh, it's not yet determined what happened. But there was a lot of scuffling going around. Oak Hill, the Oaks fans are really upset right now about it. Four forty four here left in the third quarter. Oak Hill Oaks lead twenty six twenty one to six, I stand corrected. As the zebras at midfield figuring out what happened. We love our zebras. We just remind everybody that we love our refs. Not but we love our refs. Yeah, Scott Trout doesn't too much, but <laughs> the rest of the company. <laughs> they wait, let's see if they put these flags back in their pockets. <laughs> They're getting a good workout tonight throwing those flags around. You know what? I have it's not too bad officiating tonight. No. Just not knowing if it's a flag or not. Waving off a throwing delay it, of game. Yeah, how do you wave off a delay of game? <laughs> I mean yeah, waving off a delay of game. I don't know how that happens. Or that pass interference. It's life. But uh, I've talked to a couple of refs before and they say it's just really hard calling the game and seeing everything. Oh, and the Oak Hill Oak fans are very emotional right now. <laughs> Looks like someone's ejected on Oak Hill. Typically when the ref points his finger up in the air and says, Skirt, somebody is ejected. <laughs> Uber everywhere. <clears throat> oh. Someone better get these zebras out of here. <laughs> Who's got the ball? Which way are they going? <laughs> They're still going this way. Pandemonium in the stands, folks. Both sides, unsure what really happened here, but there's a lot of talk at midfield. Zebras still making up their mind as to who's getting ejected, if they're either. I don't think anybody's getting ejected. Someone did. He gave the finger out like that, and the Oak Hill went crazy. Oh, he's the one that took that end around. Oh, yeah, it might be. He's getting toxic right now. It seems to be number 11 is ejected for the moment, and... I don't know, how do ejections work in high school? Does that mean they're done for the next two games or game? <laughs> and the Oaks will take over after that scuffle there. <laughs> I looked down and he was kicking at me. <laughs> no, 
Oh no, I guess no one got ejected. And Caleb Johnson under center. Gives the high, gives it to the fullback. He barrels ahead for about three. And that should be a first. Should be about second and seven. Holding his junk. And here we go, Caleb Johnson lines up under center. Takes the snap and gives it to the running back. He takes it out wide to the right. He's got a lane. And he's going to have a first down for the Oaks. He got the edge and he kept on trucking. That's a first down for the Oak Hill Oaks. A little bit of microphone. And seem to be a scuffle on the sideline. Things are getting very chippy here as the crosstown rivals here. Back when they actually used to hit you. Yeah, I just caught all you guys. Shazier, that's you. They're taking a knee. 21 to 6. Well, 21 to 6 here with 349 remaining here. Scout trail. Boom. 21 6. You want to let Jesse do his thing? <laughs> I'm used to working. Let Jesse do his thing. On the way. He ain't gonna do it very long. Like 27%. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder how much more it's got now. I know. Does yours pop up and give you 10%? I know it does 15, so I don't know if it will live. No, we haven't yet hit it, I don't think. My people's on there. Huh? My people's on there. But he's got, he got a pretty good stuff. I can do it on a pretty good stuff. Yeah, because he's got a pretty good stuff. Um, was that a timeout, I yeah. believe? Yep. 3.43 remaining here in the third quarter. And it's a first and ten for the Oak Hill Oaks. Caleb Johnson under center. And again, they go with the ground and pound to the fullback here as he barrels ahead. Runs over a guy, and we got another flag. Boy, things are getting very chippy out here, folks, as that's another flag within the last 10 plays. Wow, that's a big bug. Wow, that's a big bug. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bugs out here, but uh, I just saw something. I told you, he had to It wasn't him. This one's going to be a personal foul against the Oak Hill Oaks. And the other side is cheering. The tartan. Tartans. Sounds like something out of Long John Silver's. But uh, the Tartans over there hooting and hollering for a personal foul. And that's going to be about a second and 15. No, oh, second and way longer. Second and 22 yards. Wow. At some point, folks, you got to say, even though Oak Hill is up, you got to go to the air because the ground and pound only lasts for so long. But, like they said, like they always do say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Here we go. Caleb Johnson lines up under center and takes it back, and he's going to give it to the wing back who gets it out to the outside, and he's got the edge, and Brady Doubt, they can't get him, and he is brought down. <laughs> Brady Douthe unable to make the tackle as the running wing back takes it all the way down to about the about the 25 yard line. Things are going insane. Pause it. Check to the court. As you got the Oak Hill Oak cheerleaders right here. 22 
inside the 22 yard line uh, here as the wing box sprang out of field here. Uh, Let's see if we can get something going here. Caleb Johnson. Uh, uh, Caleb Johnson gets a snap, gets it to the fullback, barrels wide, makes a guy miss, breaks another time, breaks another one, into the touchdown, Oak Hill Oak. As the Oak Hill Oak go up 27 to six, another touchdown is that fullback, number 32, is breaking tackles for daylight, and there he goes, showing his moxie and his swag. Oak Hill is fired up here, folks. Pandemonium is real here. And none other than Ramsey Sykes. All that man to kick the extra point. He is three of three. And we are going to have a offsides against the Tartans. Seem to be off size. Repeat the point after. And the extra point will be good. Ramsey Sykes, folks. Scout trout, all American D tackle. Four for four for extra points. And Oak Hill fans, they are fired up right now. Fired up. Oaks lead it 28 to 6 with the 3 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Let's see if Brady Dow that can bring some life back into the Tartans offense. They've been struggling all night. The run game's failing. The only match they've had was from Brady Douthat. You see him at midfield here. He's really the only one that had the spark on that offensive side and defensively wise. You've seen what an athlete he is. But tonight, the Oaks are just getting the best of the Tartans here in all areas. We'll see if Brady Douthat is able to uh, get things going here. And here we go. Kickoff's about to be underway, folks. And it's out, and it is a bouncer, a roller, picks it up, brings it, makes a couple guys miss, brings it down to about, well folks, that's about to about midfield here as we move along. Kick is returned to the 49 yard line. Or about the 49 yard line here. As Brady Douthat will take over here. Make that the 48 yard line of Southern first and Let's see if Brady Douthat can take over here. Where's Scott Trout? Brady Douthat in shotgun steps back. He looks right. Steps out, breaks the tackle, rolls right, throws it right, and this one is complete. What a throw, folks. Brady Douthat able to show that pockets, that presence to stay in there, roll right, and throw right, a perfect strike. That's what I am talking the about there. Yard line, first he brings Oak Hill within threatening scoring position. 2.57 remaining here in the third quarter. Brady Douthat, shotgun, takes the side, looks left, throws left, and just a little bit too much out there outside for number 22. Second down and That'll bring up a second and 10. Brady out there looking for his wide receiver. Looked like being on the corner route. Sailed it just a little bit too far. Seemed like the wide receiver could have used more speed out there, but it is okay, folks. Brady out there. That's up. Got a base formation out here. Here we go. 
Baited out there in the shotgun, takes it, gives it to his tailback, tailback runs to the right, breaks a couple tackles, and he's good for about a gain of five. Bringing up about a third and five. Carter, the ball carries out down by Cole Hanning. Third and five. Let's see what the Tartans are set up to do here. Game five on the play. Third down. This and drive five started four. with the Brady Douthat. Long pass as he rolled right and completed it. Brady Douthat. Motion. Douthat steps back. He looks over the middle. Steps up. Throws it over the middle. And this one is almost intercepted. Almost intercepted over the middle. Try to go deep, but was almost intercepted. We got a fourth and five. At this point, folks, you got to know the Tartans have to go for it on any, every drive here. Here we go. Brady Douthat takes a snap, looks over the middle, looks left, pressured, rolls right, throws it, pick almost picked off for the second time. Brady Douthat's already been picked off once on the night, folks, but almost picked off, and the Oak Hill Oaks will take over. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. The score remains 28 to 6. Tartans are trailing. It's a 20 point, 22 point difference here in this game. Um, a lot of people saw this game going in a very different direction, at least a, a more of a closer game than what we're seeing here. But so far, the Oak Hill Oaks have proven to be the, I wouldn't say better team, but they have really outplayed this other side here. The Tartans just need to figure out a lot right now. They are just being beat on defense. And really, it's been the Game ground and pound. Caleb Johnson really not having to do much with his arm. It's been a ground and pound game here. And the Tartans are just being worn out by the ground and pound. On the other side, Brady, Brady and the Tartans need to find a way to move the ball along. But right now, it's all Oak Hill. Caleb Johnson under center. And Caleb gives it to the fullback and he is able to get close to a first down. It's gonna bring up about a third. About a third and short. Zach Fisher, the ball carrier, gained a three on the play. Third and one for the eight. About third and two for the Oak Hill Oaks. And they give it to the fullback, and he is breaking tackles, shooting like a bullet. And he gets a first down for the Oak Hill Oaks. 35 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. First down. Now at the Oak Hill 38-yard line. First and 10 here for the Oak Hill Oaks. Caleb Johnson lines up under center. And the give is, no. Give is to the running back. And he's breaking. He got an open field, folks. Breaks the tackle. And he is down all the way inside the 15 yard line. Oak Hill Oaks is going crazy. This place is going crazy. The Tartans have no answer for this ground and pound here. Oh, but there appears to be a penalty on the field. 
And this one, folks, this one's coming back. to be a holding call. Fifteen yards. That one surely, folks, would have put the game away, but we are heading into the fourth quarter. The score is 28 to 6. Oak Hill Oaks is all Oak Hill. Die. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. Pretty close. It's on its, it's on its last. It's already dark in the screen, so it's on its last. All right, let me look at it. On his last legs, right, but we'll get the rest of it until I mean, he's dead, and then I'll get the rest of the clips on here in my phone. I don't know. I think it's on his last. It's already dimmed the screen a little bit. <laughs> Just get it till it goes out, and then. Do you want a video? Of this a little video. I can video the rest of the game with the rest of the clips. Our sh this is working. That thing's just like yours, isn't it? Caleb Johnson under center. Give us to the halfback as he woo, hit hard by Brady. Brady Douthat laying the wood. Hit hard by Brady Douthat. He laid the wood. Second down and 19 for the Oaks. And it'll be about second and 17 here for the Oaks. Caleb Johnson under center. It's a pitch. And he takes it to the outside. He's got a convoy in front of him. And he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. The ball carrier, out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Bring up third down and eight for the Oaks. Third and eight for the Oaks. <laughs> and. Caleb Johnson on the center. 